Hi, my name is Sarah Hodgkins and I am the owner and artist of Charlotte Designs. For the last 15 years, I have been designing and painting murals for all kinds of customers up and down the country. But at the moment, I can't come out and paint murals for you. So I thought I would help you to paint them for yourself. So welcome to my very first DIY mural tutorial. I thought we'd start off with something relatively easy, something which might be useful to all you parents out there who are homeschooling at the moment, and that is a chalkboard wall. I hope you enjoy. Chalkboard walls are great. Kids can draw and write on them to their heart's content, and you can doodle and set instructions. During this tutorial, we will look at ways you can be creative with your wall, how to get the best finish, and what to do with it once the kids have gone back to school. For this project, you will need some Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint, some Rust-Oleum magnetic primer if you want to make yours a magnetic board as well, some masking tape, sandpaper, a brush, roller and tray, and then some chalk and some pencils and a ruler. Please make sure that you cover up everything in your work area with dust sheets before you start, and then you can start to prepare your wall. It, re it needs a really good sand down, preferably with an electric sander. If you don't have one, you can sand it by hand and use that as your workout for the day. Once your wall is lovely and smooth, give it a good wipe over with sugar soap or with a very weak uh, washing up liquid solution. You can then mask up all the architraves, skirting boards and the ceiling and walls next to the one you want to paint and you're then ready to go. Now, if your chalkboard wall is in a child's bedroom or playroom or even in your makeshift classroom, you might decide you want to add a magnetic quality. And to do that, you need to put on two coats of the magnetic primer that I mentioned earlier. I like the Rust-Oleum one and it's a much better product than the combined magnetic and chalkboard paint. So what I've done here is I have got two coats of my magnetic primer on my board. I've let it dry thoroughly in between each coat and that takes about six hours and also given it a light sand. Then on top of that, I put on two coats of my chalkboard paint. I paint a border first with my brush and then I fill it in with my roller so that I have as fewer brush strokes as possible and give myself a nice flat finish. The chalkboard paint takes about four hours to dry in between each coat and do make sure it is completely dry before you start to sand it. But the result is you will get a beautiful flat finish which is what you need for a chalkboard wall. So now you have your lovely flat wall, you might decide that actually you want to leave it just as it is. A blank canvas for you and the kids to get creative with. But now you've got that resource, it is quite nice to sort of zone it out somehow and make it work more effectively for you. One of the things that works particularly well is to create some frames where you can display the children's artwork. Draw around the paper that you tend to use for the children to draw on, whether that's A3 or A4, and then add different frames. You can label them up with the child's name. You can even add a little silver circle above it as a nail and some nice straight lines to the edges of your frame to make it look as if the frame is actually hanging. You can add borders to the edge, either all the way around or just in the corner. You can make them as simple or as intricate as you want. I've used some permanent pens here, uh, white, gold and silver. And this is really useful because they don't rub out with a, a board rubber. So you can fill them in with chalk every day, colour them in and still rub that out without affecting the pens. And this is a really good way of making your chalkboard mural actually work for you. I also like to add a little uh, vase or a bottle at the bottom and get the children to add some different flowers in it every day so that it becomes a sort of ever-changing part of the mural. Whatever you decide to do, we have some downloadables available on the website www.charlottedesigns.co.uk which you can download and then transfer onto your wall 
to make some different patterns as you wish. My advice to you would be to just let your imagination run wild with you. Perhaps plan out what you want to do on a piece of paper first if you don't want to use the downloadables. Transfer the design onto your chalkboard wall with a pencil and then just go over it with your pens and create the designs that you want. Another idea is to mask up part of the wall into different shapes. So you might want to do individual short pools for each child, or you could mask it up into shapes like a mountain range or a house shape. I once did some chalkboards in the countries that the um, company whose office it was had around the world. You could even do a world map and get the children to put mark on their places that they would like to visit or indeed that they have visited. There are lots of options for making your chalkboard personal to you and there's no reason why it has to cover up the whole wall. When the little darlings have gone back to school, why not make a feature of your chalkboard wall rather than paint over it? Metallic silver and gold look fantastic on that matte black finish and it's a really interesting way of making a feature wall in any room. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we are going to be looking at a geometric wall or a Mondrian wall. Don't know who Mondrian is? Go and Google him.